We're in the end game now. Before we're done, we still have one promise to keep. If you can't protect the Earth, if you can be damn sure we'll avenge it. Whatever it takes. Less than an hour after posting my breakdown for the three new brand new TV spots for Avengers Endgame, another TV spot was just unveiled. As I'm sure you guys saw at the beginning of the video, I'm unable to play the whole TV spot as a lot of it is old footage and I will get dinged for copyright. However, in the beginning, I did play what brand new footage we got. If you want to check out the full thing, you can in the description down below, but it's from previous Marvel movies, as I played all the new footage. Before we jump right into the breakdown, I do want to remind you guys about the massive sale that is going on for Avengers Endgame merch. Be sure to check the description down below and get your own Quantum Realm hoodie, Tony Stark jacket, or Thanos armor jacket. Again, there's a huge sale going on right now, so a lot of them are up to 30% off. If you're interested, be sure to grab a Quantum Realm hoodie for the Avengers Endgame premiere, as I will be doing that as well. Anyway, let's get right into the breakdown. The footage starts out with a voiceover from Captain America himself, and this is the now famous pep talk to the Avengers before they jump into the Quantum Realm. The voiceover starts off by Steve Rogers saying, before we're done, we have one last promise to keep. And then Iron Man jumping in saying, if we can't protect the Earth, you'll be damn well sure we'll avenge it. A comment made by Stark all the way in the first Avengers movie to Loki, where he said that if they ultimately lost to Loki, they would avenge the Earth. But now this time in Avengers Endgame, this is the first official time the Avengers will actually be avenging the Fallen. The first new piece of footage that we get is of the Sanctuary, which appears to be entering some type of planet's atmosphere, or at least that is my guess. And yes, this is the Sanctuary 2 or Thanos' ship, as we can now see it in full HD. I suspect the Sanctuary 2 is either headed to the planet of Xandar, as we saw in the special look, or to Earth, but I find Xandar to be more likely. Really There's also a now. brand new shot of Hawkeye within Avengers Headquarters, and as you can see in the background, we have Rhodey and Rocket, with both of them looking extremely disappointed for some reason. But here, something appears to be catching Hawkeye's eye. What it is, I'm not really sure. This may actually link up with footage that we got in another TV spot of Iron Man putting on his Mark 85 armor, but I'm not quite sure on that either. Still though, Hawkeye appears to be in the same uniform as he is in that scene. The final shot is by far the most epic, and it's Tony Stark in his Mark 85 armor making a superhero landing. As you can see in the background, he then opens up his repulsors or wings that we briefly got to see in another trailer or TV spot. We know thanks to that TV spot that there are actually individual repulsors in each of the tendrils that come out of the Mark 85. And again, the Mark 85 is the absolute peak of Tony Stark's intelligence, and the most powerful and advanced Iron Man armor that we've ever seen. After this though, there's not really any brand new footage, but what we do get is absolutely amazing, especially the standout for me being the entrance of the 85. But what were your guys' thoughts on this trailer, and did you guys like it? Again, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, as we'll be keeping up to date on all of these TV spots as they come out. Again, also, don't forget to pick up some Avengers Endgame merch using my link in the description down below. Also, the Thanos Hot Toy figure still continues, but the winner will be announced before the weekend. Thank you guys as always so much for watching, hit that subscribe button to join our team and have a great day.